Hi, my name is Matthew Sparrow, and I just kind of wanted to share my story with you. Now, I think it's the most important to really get the full grasp of this picture is if we take a step back, we look back at where I was, and then we'll, we'll look at where I'm at now. So, speaking of my past, I was say about 19 years old. I was with my wife. We were we were just starting our relationship, and we were planning on getting married. We didn't really like know what we were doing. Now I'm sure that 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 is a pretty fair assessment for anyone who's slowly coming into adulthood to have like no idea what's going on, which is completely fine. I was also with a really bad friend group that was not interested in my growth whatsoever. So I came to the conclusion of what I needed to do. I needed to push myself to be better because I needed to be the adult that you know my kid would need. My wife wasn't pregnant at the time, but I needed to be a normal contributing person to society, and I, it, that came to me. So what did I do? I was already in college, uh, but that wasn't challenging me enough. So I inevitably ended up joining the military. We didn't really know what branch, and like my wife wouldn't let me do the Marines and the Army because she thought it was so dangerous. And we thought the Navy. Oh, the Navy. That will be great. You're totally not going to be on a ship for a long period of time and not home. Well, fun fact, that was not that was, that, that was not the case. I was on a ship. Um, when I first came in, I was an undesignated seaman. So I was essentially a deckhand for the bosun mates where we would handle preservation of the ship. We would drive the ship. We would do all these things. However, during my two years on the ship, I was able to establish a great work, th work ethic. I'm sorry. To the point of, I learned that I really liked to work, and that wasn't something that I had even acknowledged or even thought of when I was younger, because I was just like, oh, I just want to get through work as fast as possible, get money. Uh, but through this, I really enjoyed working. It wasn't the best. There was a lot of hours on the flight deck and just time that just went, it was just on and on and on, and you're staring at the ocean, and you're like, why am I here? But it laid the foundation for who I was, both professionally and personally. This kind of leads right into when I was able to get a specific job. I became a steel worker. I was a CV. I lived in, a, I got stationed out in California. And with time being in, I was moving up the ranks. So I not only had to be a good worker, I had to encourage other people to work. I had to be in a leadership role that really explained what we needed to do, how we needed to do it, and like the mission needed to get done because that is the priority in all aspects of the military is the mission needed to get done because someone's got to do it. Uh, through this time, though, I was able to really learn how to take what I learned as, you know, working and being an undesignated seaman to really help other people get their jobs done and learn how to really be a leader and inspire others to do work and how to be fair and to really build a good rapport with all the people under you. And that was solely because I knew what it was like to have to bust my butt off for someone else and showing them that appreciation that really solidified the, the the reward of being a leader and my leadership skills or like my growth as a leader accumulated to one of my last things i did as a steel worker where i took about nine ten people over to united arab emirates and we had to build up a campsite uh, for beach operations that we were conducting for ship to shore lo logistics and I was able to do that and handle that we had everything built in one day which is insanely uh, fast paced and not many people could have done the same thing and it really it got me and my people awards and it, it just accumulated all that experience right so what did I do with that I was like well I don't want to kind of do this my whole life because it's hot outside it's hot in the desert and I don't really know if I want to be in the desert like that so I went to, you see what my options were, and I ended up becoming a paralegal for a prosecution team. So I used my work ethic and my leadership to make sure that I can ensure that my attorneys are able to present themselves in court to the best of their ability. And I think with that, that is only attributed to me learning how to work, me learning that work ethic, and me becoming a leader and being able to show other people how to accomplish what they want to get done. But with all that, where do I go from here, right? The Navy's not forever. Well, I've been getting working on two degrees. I mentioned I was in college earlier. Well, I, off and on since I've been in the military, I've been do whenever I can. I, I get in the classes. I'm aiming on a bachelor's of environmental science and an associate's degree in paralegal studies. That actually I will finish at the end of this course. I will obtain that, and so that's one thing off the list. But where do I go from there? 
well, my goal is to obtain a master's degree, and then I want to apply it to the FBI and be able to do that. I want to be able to use my skills that I've just learned from just being in the Navy, from being a human being, from dealing with people and inspiring them to move forward and just working with them through their periods of, like in their life. I feel like all of that will accumulate into me being the person that I needed to be when I was 19, that to be the, the inspiration that I could be for, you know, my kid or anyone else in the, in the community that needs somebody to be like, I was there. And this is what you can do when you put your mind to it. Cause it's, it looks hard, it looks hard, but dedication and just drive will help get you there. And that is the end of my presentation. Um, I just want to thank you, Professor, for all the help that you've done and just how you've guided us into figuring this out. I feel a lot different than I when I was originally presenting about 13 weeks ago. And so I just want to thank you for that. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your year. Thank you.